Senior pupils at Christian DeVette Combined School Hostel in the Free State have allegedly used irons to burn younger boys. It's said to be, have been part of an initiation ritual performed at the school. The Free State Provincial Education Department spokesperson, Howard Ndaba, joins us for more on this. A very good evening to you, sir. Good to have your time on News at Prime. What have you been told happened at Christian DeVette? Well, good, good evening, uh, Tembegile. Good evening to our viewers. Uh, this morning, I personally visited the school. I met with the principal. I met with the ACP. What, what we have been told is that uh, uh, this uh, sordid incident happened on the 12th, the 13th, and the 15th of, of, of November, where a group of, uh, <clears throat> a group of four learners who are in, in grade 10, they, 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 they have invited a, a, a group of 13 learners, which were, were done in those days that I've mentioned. And this is part of the initiation, as you correctly put. What is happening is that, is that they were told that uh, you, you, this is part of an initiating which we say, which confirmed that if you, are, if you have been a learner at that school and you have been staying in our state, this confirmed that indeed you have been staying there. So it seems to us as that because our preliminary observation uh, investigation suggests that it seems to us that this thing has been happening for some time mm -hmm. because these learners were, were called and said, "Remember, if, if you must take this, uh, you must allow us to put uh, a spoon, a hot spoon on your on your arm, because if you don't do that, grade 12 will be the one coming with the iron." So learners were forced now to choose. Between the the better devil and and, and the more and, and the worst devil, which is where they've been put with, with an iron. So both of them they they, they were coerced to do that uh, uh, because it's part of the ritual. If you look at the perpetrators, the four perpetrators, they themselves, when you look at them, that they are having the same mark mm -hmm. that is that is similar to the one that is that, that has been done to to the other thirteen learners. So, so it's a me, very good. Right. To be clear, so these thirteen boys then who we're talking about tonight were burnt with hot spoons and irons, and the iron was basically used, am I right, would have been brought in rather by well, they older were burnt, boys? They were burned with, a, 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 it should be like a spoon or, or a knife. But, but they were told that if you don't allow us to burn you with the spoon, you know that you, you can, the grade 12 are coming to you, they will burn you with, with an iron. So they, most of them choose to do this. Um, uh, to, to, to take the spoon rather than being burned with, with an iron. Mm -hmm. They also told that if you resist doing, doing it, you will put the iron on, on, on your arm. Or if you, if you are not doing it, you know that the, the consequence is more, is more dire than, 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 than putting a spoon or any object that is, that mm -hmm. is better than the iron. It's interesting to me that you say these older boys were now in grade 10, having done this to these younger pupils, themselves, as you were telling us, on their bodies you can tell signs of burn. They had uh, signs of burns themselves from the past. Yet the adults at the school, school management and the SGB say they were not aware. Do you believe that? Yes, we, 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 we definitely. We were at the school today. We did manage to talk to the SGB. Uh, you know, this, this thing is done at a very, in a very subtle very subtle possible. We also talked to this learner. We asked them why you did not report this. They, were, they told us that if you report, then we're told not to report by, this, by these older people. If you report, there will be more dire consequences. So it's a, it's a situation where learners are living in fear. Learners are, 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 are torturing themselves. It's bullying at its best. It's, in fact, it's more than bullying because in this case, it's, it's, it's more of a human rights violation. Learners are being tortured. And so forth. That is why the school has taken a decision that they open the case of, of assault, of political harm to the police. And the police were clear that they, they are intervening. These learners, who some of them might, be, might, might appear before the court ne next week. We are also subjecting these learners right. to disciplinary right. action next week. But it's horrifying to think that this sort of thing, this ritual, this horrific ritual, would have been going on at Christian de Vett for successive years, based on what you're telling us, without the adults, the teachers, um, the head of the hostel, 
picking up on it. It speaks to something that is broken in the system. Even if the victims themselves were sworn to secrecy, something is broken at the school. Well, I would not say something is broken. Uh, it, it, it's just, a, you know, you, you might say that, but what we have done now as a way forward, we have, we have advised the school to make sure that they, they re revitalize their school safety committee, which, which we are told is there. But we are also... So something also is broken if there's no proper school safety committee or ways in which you can pick up on children who've suffered burns to their bodies. Something is broken. We can say something is broken, but what we are, what, what we are saying now is that we need to make sure that proper interventions are, are made and that the school has developed a management plan to make sure that all this kind of thing do not, ha do not happen again. We have also advised the school to make sure that in their school code of conduct, they must insert a clause that deals specifically with this kind of initiation, that they should be at law from the school. And where are the boys who did this now? I know there's going to be, I was looking now at your statement, there's going to be a, a criminal process initiated via complaint with police. But where are they? Are they still allowed to go to school? The boys are still at school. Uh, today we invited their parents. Uh, remember, they are, they are writing their exams. Uh, we are, obviously, next week we will put them under, di uh, under disciplinary process of the department. But the, the, the law enforcement agencies will also take it. But currently, they are still at school. Their parents were called, and they, they were at school today. They will be engaging with the, with, with the school management mm -hmm. on the way forward. What is the appropriate sanction for such violent behavior against other children at school? Expulsion? Well, part of, uh, without uh, preempting the outcome of the, of the, uh, of the DC, I think one one of the one of the of the sanction might be might be uh, 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 expulsion. It might be uh, suspension, and so I don't want to come there because let's allow the process, mm -hmm. the due process, to take place so that these learners are subjected to a fair to a fair and honest process, and the, the decision will be taken by the competent body that is responsible for DC. I wonder then, Mr. Ndaba, if there's not the need to broaden perhaps the internal investigation and see if there are other younger boys who may have been abused in the same way, perhaps by the same perpetrators or other senior boys. In fact, the, the, remember the investigation has not been finalized and the, it is ongoing. We started with the investigation on Monday. The investigation is actually going to include all the learners because the, the, remember that's cool. Is a combined school, which means that it starts from grade R to grade 12, and there are about 700 learners there. There are, about, there are also girl learners there. The investigation that we have embarked on will also include talking to learners, talking to girl learners, talking to junior learners to make sure that to establish the fact as to how widespread was this sordid event. Howard Ndaba, spokesperson for the Free State Education Department. Thank you for your time tonight.